Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you the cheapest 50mm f1.8 lens in the world. Believe me, this is real. This is the cheapest one in the world. You cannot find cheaper than this. This is a Yongnu f1.8 prime lens for an icon you can get it for Canon as well and if you are using Sony maybe Pentax Lycia camera so you have to buy an adapter to fix it on your camera but the company makes officially only for Nikon and Canon believe me this is the cheapest I bought it for 4500 INR in India last year so I'm just quickly gonna show you how it is and how it works Let's see. So this is my Yongnu F1.8 and uh, it has inbuilt autofocus motor and you can see the focus meter here. If you put it on manual then you can see this moving and you can adjust the focus according to your requirement this is for infinity which is a very very good option for to focus basically to focus infinite and as you already know that i love astrophotography so this is a very good option for me to focus even in the dark night sky and it has auto focus and manual focus button in you can just switch it on switch it off auto focus to manual focus And you can just open the lid you can see the Yongnu 50mm f1.8 the filter thread size is 50mm mm. so if you're looking to buy a filter for this lens you have to buy 58 mm just keep in mind and apart from that you get a hood for this lens okay and a quite decent back mitten good finish in fabric and I think it's it's, it's a good deal in 4500 only because if you buy a Nikon and Canon prime lenses you will get for more than 10 or 12,000 excluding the shipping so I got it 45 4700 including shipping from China and I definitely recommend this I'm just quickly gonna show you some of the samples from this lens. Just wait. So I took some photographs uh, when I bought it last year. So this is my photo in Agra. As you can see, the Taj Mahal and some buildings and some trees in the background. They all are blurred. It's quite good autofocus is built uh, autofocus works very nice and just a one little uh, problem that it makes a noise but if you can manage the noise then it's, it's value for money for you because it's not like uh, Nikon's AFP lenses which has steeping motor very silent but for the price it's, it's amazing believe me it's amazing you can see the blurred back Taj Mahal and this is my friend Rahul. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty decent and works really well in my Nikon D3400. Well, if you have any questions, suggestions, just write down in the comment section. And do, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Cheers. See you in another video. Goodbye.